us to look at the scriptures. Genesis. We have read this Genesis 26. Genesis 26. If we start from verse 1, it's important. Genesis 26. Genesis 26. Let's read what uh, Genesis was. Arabaling Malau Genesis. Huh? 26. Okay, let's read from verse 1. The Bible says verse there one. was a famine in the land besides the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went to Abimelech, king of the Philistine, in Gerar. Two, then the Lord appeared to him and said, Do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land of which I shall tell you. Dwell in this land, and I will be with you and bless you. Amen. For you and your descendants, I will give all these lands, and I will perform the oath which I swore to Abraham your father. I will make your descendants multiply as the stars of heaven, and I will give to your descendants all these lands, and in, in your seed all the nation of the earth shall be blessed. Amen. Because Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my status, and my laws, so Isaac dwelled in Gerar. There's something that I wanted us to look at it today, verse 7. Verse 7. And the man, can you see the verse there? And the man of the place asked about his wife. Amen. And he said, she's my sister. For he was afraid to say she's my wife. Because he thought, lest the man of the place kill me for Rebecca. Because she is beautiful to behold. Amen. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want us to look at these scriptures slowly. God wants us to be blessed. Just write that. God wants us to be blessed. In other words, blessing is your portion. But blessing, you must know, they don't come very quick the way you think. Where we have read, we can say that before the blessing comes, Number one thing that will come is a famine. Famine must come first. Number two, God's direction will come. Look here, if you read here, you will see that the first thing was Okay, this famine. So that when the famine comes, the question will be, what is it that we are supposed to do? So the person that must be asked that kind of a question is God. So in other words, famine provokes God's direction. If we want to get out from famine, we must know what God, what God is saying with us. The scripture that we have read here, they say, this was not the first famine. So in other words, every generation faced their own famine. This was the second generation from Abraham because Abraham also faced his own family. When we read it, the Bible says, this famine came first by the time of Abraham. But look at this scripture. It says, this other one was a nightmare. This one. This one. 
It says, verse 1, it says, there was a famine in the land. And it says, besides the first famine, that was in the days of Abraham. Can you read that in Amplified Bible, maybe? Let me, let me read it for you because this one, this Bible is very fast. Now, it says, now there was a famine in the land. Amen. It says, besides the previous famine that had occurred in the days of Abraham. Amen. So you could see that uh, your father faced famine. We, we have to face famine. Our children must face their famine. But unless we get direction from God, we we'll stay in our family. So here it shows that Isaac has God. Because for you to be blessed, you need to ask God. You cannot be blessed anywhere. It's a place where God wants you to be. And the instruction was, don't live where you are. If you go to Egypt, Egypt is a land of slavery. You'll be slaves. Now God doesn't want us to be slaves. He wants us to be blessed. Our God doesn't want us to be slaves. He wants us to be blessed. I'm sorry to tell you that some of your jobs you are doing is slavery. Is slavery. If you don't work, you lose everything you have. Don't ever give a testimony that you are blessed with a job. If you say that you are say you are in Egypt, and you are blessed in Egypt, you are supposed to be a slave. You, you work for others. You left with strides of life. In, your body. in Egypt, you don't possess the land. Can you see why many people are working? They cannot have lands. Okay, the third thing here is the promise. God said, if you obey. I will never allow you to be poor. Be Not only you, even your children. Will have less. If you obey and stay in Gerar, I will bless you. If you look at that verse, just read there. Okay. Look at that verse. It's verse. It says what? Verse. Okay, verse 3. It says. Verse 3. It says, live temporary as a resident. In this land. And I will be with you. And I will bless you. Not only that, and favor you. And it says what? For I will give you all this lands. Ask your neighbor, how many lands do you have? I want to tell you something. If you don't have a land, you are not blessed. This year, you can see, for I will give you all these lands. To you. Not only to you, even to your descendants. Not only to you, even to your descendants. All right, and I will establish you. According to the promises that have been given to your father. Sometimes you need to find out where is your father coming from. Because your father had a land. And he had a family. How does he get that land? Or I, or your father suffered as a slave. And you are a child of whom? What kind of life you want to live? Blessings must follow the children of Abraham. I don't know if you are hearing this. You can see there here that this was Isaac. But this Isaac, if you can continue reading. Don't worry if I can tell you this, but Oscar says, after now he dwelled. He had one thing. 
Without the promises of God being fulfilled, one thing he had was his wife. And the wife was beautiful to the blessed man must have a beautiful wife. I will tell you, a blessed man, a blessed man must have a beautiful wife. If, if you want to see your no blessed, look at your wife. Because, because I'll tell you why. Because when when it's no issue of you know you have to be visibly beautiful. There are things that makes wife beautiful. Your wife, your wife represents you. The moment money comes, you will see her. She, she will get crayon. She will, you will start to see her nails now. You, will start, you cannot do that. You cannot change your... I mean, you will see her hairs. When money... Now, this man... He had beautiful, he loved his wife. But he forced to say, no, no, no. My wife, this time, the way you're beautiful. No, everybody's looking at you. You, you are my sister. So you could see they have to communicate like his sister. But, but some way, somehow, you, can, you cannot do that forever. Very soon when you are communicating as a sister, you may expose that you are not. So that's what so happened. The people of Philistine found this man. is lying to us. And even Abraham did. In other words, he was not lying. He was lying to us. 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 Isaac was going through what Abraham went through. They had a generational curse of lying. So that generational curse of lying was going hand in hand with the famine they were going through. But he stood in the promises and he had this beautiful wife which was commended to the king. This wife, if she can be taken by the king, she, she will, she will represent the king. Today, I'm sorry to tell you that, but I have to tell you. A stingy man and a poor man are the same. But a man who's blessed will take care of his wife. Tell your neighbor. If you are blessed, your wife will enjoy what you have. I want to pray so that God will bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of you want God to bless you? No, I mean, this is a wrong prayer. God already is blessing you. If we read the book of Galatians, I want to show you something there in chapter 3 from verse 6 to 9. Galatians chapter 3, 6 to 9. You will see the Bible talks about us of faith now. That we people of faith, we are blessed with blessings of Abraham. Abraham. Wonderful. Just read, Mama. Galatians 3. Galatians chapter 3. Yes. From 6. Verse 6. Yes. It says, just as Abraham believed God, yes. and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Uh -huh. Therefore, know that only those who are of faith are sons of Abraham. And the scripture foreseeing the God, that God will justify the Gentiles by faith, preached the gospel to Abraham beforehand, saying, in, your, in you all nations shall be blessed. So then, 
those who are of faith are blessed with believing Abraham. Verse 10. For as many... To nine. Okay, that's nine. Read verse nine. Verse nine says... So, it says so. It's so. It said so. Then those who are of faith are blessed with believing Abraham. Okay, let me read that in, in Amplified. It says so. Then... Those who, are, those who are people of faith, whether Jew or Gentile, are blessed and favored by God and declare free of the guilt of sin and its penalty and place in the right standing with him along with Abraham. So if we read this, we see that faith makes us to take things by spirit. <laughs> Faith makes us to take things by spirit for us to be children of Abraham by spirit we are taken by faith. We are called the children of Abraham. The Bible says he obeyed God and he was called righteousness of God. Now we also hear the word of faith and we obey God. We also credited like him. But he becomes a father of us. But I want this verse that I just want us to read it again and again. It says verse 6, it says, just verse as six. Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness. So understand that it is the people who live by faith who are the true sons of Abraham. Understand that you know, when, when Paul was telling Galatia, he was saying, hey, people, why have you left what you have been taught in the spirit? Now you go to the physical. Galatians, why you become so fools that you start very well? Believing that the word of God makes you sons. And now you are using your ability. If that is the case, you lack the righteousness of God. Then you don't become sons. And daughters of Abraham. And are qualified to be blessed. Our ability to be blessed is coming from the conformity of us with Abraham. The moment we are his sons and his daughters, we are blessed. We will meet what Abraham met, but we will overcome. Listen to this. When famine comes to try you, it's not over with you. It's the beginning. Of of that was promised to Abraham. Normally, we now use our strength. And we forget what God has promised. What God has promised is we are blessed. And the blessed Abraham. And the Abraham. We must go and read about what happened to Abraham. I will tell you what happened to Isaac. Isaac's blessing was not affected by seasons. The Bible says he saw by the time of famine. He reaped that year. And he saw he reaped. He became rich. Big. And he ended up being very big. To extend that those who go by the nature of the land. The Philistine. The Bible says they envy him. I mean, uh, not long ago, yesterday I went to I've, I've got one man is here. He, he helps me a lot in, uh, 
in the issue of farming. So, I took him where I was doing some farming. So, he went to check my beans. He said, "Ah, you are not going to be the beans." He said, "This is not the time of beans." He "This is not the time of beans." He said, "This is not the beans." And how can they be like this? I know why the beans are just like a mohawk. I knew what he was telling me. Already, I knew these are the blessing of Abraham. I don't know if you're hearing me. The blessing of Abraham does not check the season. Do you remember Ecclesiastes 11? It says, "Those who observe the clouds will never see." Those who observe the winds will never see. Those who observe the winds will never see. Observe the winds. Babali lang mi mo ya libo na bakasibune silo. If you people look at the season, ale na le level la mabaka. Because in a season, everybody, every natural person is doing it. The people of the earth are controlled by the seasons. Not this thing. Abraham. Tell somebody say, hey, I'm not controlled by seasons. I'm a child of God. I'm a son of Abraham. I'm a daughter of Abraham. How can you be? A child of a rich man, you stay poor. Uh, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Some people are expecting Christians to be poor. Sometimes they even insult pastors when they become rich. They say why they, you know, they are taking money of people. That's no money of people. Even ma money is no money of people. Money in your pocket is your money. Even if you are a rich man, you are not going to be rich. Even if you are a rich man, you are not going to be rich. Even if you are a rich man, This year you must be blessed. I say you must be blessed. I will tell you why I'm sharing this. I'm sharing this with two reasons. Number one. Number one is because of famine. 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 Number one You carry on when I a pill, sowing Ujuala. the word of God in your spirit. Believing the word of God in your spirit, you are sowing. You get to see the harvest and you will have a testimony. I don't know if you are hearing me. Check somebody say the testimony is coming. That will declare you being blessed. How many of you are blessed? Okay, look here. If people they don't jealousy you, because this is what happened to Isaac. If you are blessed, jealousy will come. If they don't jealousy you, you are blessed. Do you hear what I'm saying? Jealousy it means fightings. What are we getting into? All these things against you. Do you check how far you did tanka tanongle mo ena? The Bible says the first thing that this Isaac did. Bible in Jeremiah to me is that he went to open a well. Oh, he had some Maya Aya Bula Sidiwa. The people of the land came. But to be the first level, but to be the last one, but to be the last. If people are not doing that, if you are not blessed, you are not blessed. Also, you are not blessed. Also, you are not blessed. When you start something, people must come and try to close. Out to my dear, but to be not to be the last one. The moment you see people try to close what you are starting, it's a sign of your blessing. But it must not stop. 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 Listen to this. They have to move with you, fighting you. Until you reach a place. There's a place. There's a place. There's a place. That place, Gajvenda, if it kagara. Eh, kagasi pede ba di kagala. I don't know English you say what, but that place is called what? Kagala. 
Until you reach a place where, where they look at you and they say, yeah, no. we can't fight this man. That place is called Kagala. Listen to this. God wants to take you there. I will tell you why. When you reach that place called Kagala, whoever wants to fight you, must follow you first. And that person will be visible. So they will leave you because they have to be exposed to come to I see your enemy being exposed. I see your enemy being exposed. So don't judge yourself why people are fighting what you are starting. When you start something, it's a sign. You are a child of Abraham. A child of Abraham must meet opposition in whatever he starts. If you believe, say amen. Let me show you another scripture. Proverbs 10. Verse 22. Verse 22. You know this verse. Verse 22. He says, the blessing of the Lord bring the riches. And he has no sorrow with Why? Because all those blessings are coming from God. So you won't bring Listen, it's very good for you to wait for God to bless you. I'll give you an example of what, of what is going on here in this world. The blessings of the Lord, it starts from the heart. It doesn't start from outside. God will give you peace inside. If now you are getting things that you don't have peace, you're not blessed. I mean, there are some people that after God bless them. Satan gives them a job to get the blessing. Because that blessing, you are afraid you will lose it. Whatever you are afraid to lose, you will lose it. If you are afraid to lose something, it's the one you are going to lose The blessings of the Lord. You know, it brings peace in your heart. If you receive something and you don't find peace, it's not yours. Seek more. I don't know if you are hearing that. If you reach a place where you are not comfortable with what you have received, don't say you are blessed with it. In fact, I want to change your testimony. Don't say you are blessed with something you are not happy of. How sorry do you say that? Because some things you call blessing are just things of dustbin to others. If you receive anything that does not glorify God, then you are not blessed. It makes people to run away from God when they look at you. Some people must know that you serve God by the blessing that are given to you. Before the blessing comes, you will have peace in your heart. The second issue, issue is people will leave you. Don't cry for them to come because when God, God give you peace here, you will chase people away from you. When they are going, peace will be increasing. And it's preparing the best for you to come. When they are gone, now God will start to bless you when they are not there. Because you want, you want people to fear you. The blessings of the Lord brings fear of God to the people. They don't know how you receive it. I don't know if you're hearing me. If people know how you receive it, and they found that the, the source is from somewhere, it's not from God. How can they worship God? So now, 
the blessing must no, no. bring fear. I don't know if you are hearing me. People must fear your God but this but year. Can you tell me about people must but fear God this year? They, they must, must never know. know. Where you are getting your blessing. Listen, you have got no need to explain to someone what you got. How you got it. Whatever you receive is yours. I don't know if you are hearing me. I know the tendency of our people. Yes. They want to do things for their own sake. Yes. Because they are thinking that they are getting something out of it. How to my business? You go out and tell people where you are buying things. Why I want to buy from you? They will go. They will live buying from you. Yeah, but that's why they will buy from you. Very soon they will start the same business. 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 But you are not going to be able to do that. You are not going to be able to do that. You are not going to be able to do that. It is very good for you for that blessing. It is very good for you for that blessing. I see God blessing you. How many of you want to be blessed? How many of you want to be blessed? You don't hear me. How many of you want to be blessed? No, you don't hear me even now. Let's read the scripture. You don't hear me. How many of you are blessed? You are hearing me. How many of you are blessed? You are hearing me. I say you are hearing me. How many of you want to be blessed? You are still poor. The Bible says the children of Abraham are blessed. Let's read this verse. Maybe it will help us on what we are doing. Psalm 24. We know this verse. From verse 1 maybe. There is. That is why Many people today that is why are, are fooling you today. Because you don't know you are blessed. You want to be blessed. How many of you are blessed? Okay, now you are understanding. How many of you want to be blessed? You don't even hear my message. Psalm 24 says what? Psalm 24. Yes. The earth is... The earth is the Lord's and all its fullness, mm. the world and those who dwell therein. Mm. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord yes. or who may stand in his holy place. He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, who nor son deceitfully, he shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him. Okay, stop there. I wanted us to read from verse 1 to 5. From verse I 1 to 5. I want to show you some kings can you call one that can make you to stay blessed. Always when I speak with people on WhatsApp and uh, uh, email, I say, stay I blessed. Look here. Yeah. If you read verse 4, you will see four. that Jacob is a king. Yes. He is a king. Yes. He is a king. 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 Make sure that your hands are clean. Can you tell the neighbor? Make sure that your hands are clean. What is it that you are touching with your hands? Is it that you are touching with your hands? Because whatever you think first, you have to be clean. 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 Clean hands, 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 Let's take you want to eat papa. What you're going to do? Because 
Your hands are so important. You wash your hands. And you take your food, isn't it? When you are busy eating, someone is coming and say, Hey, hello, how are you? You're eating. And they, what are you expecting from him before? I want to eat with you. And then straight away he goes to the meat. Remember me, it's just one push. You, take it. you don't know where he come from. This food, the whole food here will be dirty. Because you, you trust the hands. So these hands must be clean. I don't know if you hear me. Your connections of your doings affect your hands. It affects your hands. I'll tell you something what the Bible says. It says, come and reason with me. Even before Isaiah 1, come and reason with me. Though your sins are red like him, so when he said, if you're not doing that, when you lift up your hands, I will hide you. I will hide you. I will hide you. I will hide you. Because God wants us to know that our hands are not separated with our doings. Our doings are the ones that takes us to our sins. If we say I'm right, it means even my hands are clean. So if now when you are wrong, you are a sinner, your hands so are wrong. So he who has a clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his hands, and he has not lifted up his soul to what is false. Who has not who has not lifted up his soul to what is false. Who has not lifted up his soul to what is false. Who has not lifted up his soul to what is false. Who has not lifted up his soul to what is false. Who has not lifted up his soul no, has shot. I don't want to explain this too. Because they are very personal to you. It's many of times you are questioning what you are speaking. Is it true that you want to do what you have said? People who have got nature, they can pretend to be good people. But one day they will show you. People can shun. But they can shun. But in a decent way. That's what the Bible says. So the Bible says such so people will be blessed from them. If you cannot shun decent feeling. If you cannot lift up your soul. On what is false. What is wrong is wrong. You know not long I found that. I mean. Many, many things are happening around us. But I, when I was with Andres, uh, he experienced something that we were doing. And then I said to him, if you want to see how people fall, is when people give you things. You just take those things. If some people give you money, you just take it. Give you money, you take it. If you do that, you are going to fall. How do you say way? How 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 feel you out of it? If you lift your hands falsely. How far me some matter? How can I let sing you now? If you find yourself now taking things where S is for your own benefit, how do you feel? Lo, usana hani, udi la uti hula. You can fall, but the things you think are blessing. Because not all things are blessing. Don't just receive anything you call it blessing. Not all things are blessing. You can receive money. You can receive sickness. You can receive things that will bring downfall. I know many people who receive things that they have never enjoyed them even today. You can be given something that will kill you. We need to know that the blessings of the Lord will bring joy to you. Three things, clean hands and pure hands. Do not lift your soul on false things. Make sure that you don't show. Deceitfully show. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Just as I had done so, he said fully, I see God blessing someone. Many of us today, what we said we are not today. I will never go to Charis. Today you are here. In fact, you must never speak something that tomorrow it will challenge you. I will never go to that church. That means it's, it's not a man of God. If you say that you are speaking with someone, even if the solution of your problem is there, the words you have spoken will block you. You will never get that blessing. There are many blessings. We are limited by what we have spoken. Many blessings could not come to us because of the words we have spoken. I can't go to church. Me. And Later you realize when you come here, you fall down. And you just say, hey, hey, hey. When you wake up there, is it me was hey, hey, hey. And after that, God began to bless you. And you realize what you have said. I, you will never even enjoy the blessing. You will be confessing, oh God, sorry, oh God, sorry. It's better you don't talk about what you don't understand. Because the blessing are in our tongue. I don't know if you are hearing me. Your blessing is not far away from you. It's in your time. So whatever you want, speak with your time. But don't speak deceitfully. But don't sound deceitfully. Because you will block yourself. If you believe, say amen. Let me just try to close uh, and read some Matthew 5 verse 5. It says, Blessed are the meek. Because they shall inherit the earth. The meek, you know, in some scriptures it talks about the gentle. But the meek means the humble. The meek are those that want God's purpose and God's will. They cannot be affected by the surroundings. Listen to this. The meek when they are surrounded by challenges around them, they can't respond to that challenge. Those are the humble, the meek. It's not only the gentle. Sometimes a person can be a gentle, but he can explode. But the meek are the humble. So you see them when they are challenged. You know, if you know that most of the preaching of Jesus, especially in this one, the best it is. He was saying that in the bush, and he was teaching it in the villages. And he was telling that, you see, blessed are the meek. They inherit the land. And then, look, there was poverty. He was telling people that were facing poverty. They were depending on fish. They didn't even have money to buy something. It's only the meek. They have a focus. They will rather carry on trust in the world as it is. Believing that it's only God who can take us home. Despise the distractions around them. If you want to know you are the meek, does it mean I'm not talking about the weak? I said the meek. The meek when they are challenged. They don't lose focus. They stay humble. They don't fluctuate. I don't know if you hear me. 
So they are able to concentrate on the goal that has been set before them. Many of us here today, we are challenged. Listen to this. Are you still the same person? After you are poor or blessed. If you stay humble on that level, you will live life with enjoyment. Not long I found that uh, we create enemies because we are trying to show who are we. I'll give you example. The moment God blesses you in the village, everybody knows you. Any blessings t- tells you move from where you are. Because the smaller one <laughs> will see that you are a goal of their receiving. Once you, are, you become bigger, you become bigger somewhere. You are, you are supposed to move from where you are. If you, if you are in a place where people have the same house oh, and nice yours is long. different, oh, yeah, but sell it very fast. You must sell it very fast. Yeah. Because these other ones, they start oh, to be witches oh, and wizards. Because they want to put you oh, in a format, in a level where they are. You know, I'll tell you this thing. Uh, the, this thing uh, one time I told Mama, I said, Mama, our church is not good in Winnemandel. Because when you, let's take, you are driving Bentley here. You are bringing Bentley here. Already you are an enemy. You just hear people say, oh, these are the ones that are eating our money. Now they start to plan you. They start to plan. Get what you are having. I say, Bama. God must bless us in a le- with a And take us to a place Ari where we are blessed. Because we are children of God. Abraham. 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 It's a fair mind for you now. You know, but you are about to be very big person. And when God began to do it, and to move know, from where you are, to Maudi and Uno shoot a mulling on out to just move from where you are, mulling on. I mean, you are created to move. Oh, so to when our ship so shoot a usipile, you're not supposed to die where you are. Our house now, when I'm mulling on this house is not yours. Toy away, I see how you are going to move and live it here. Tell you the I want to move. You must be thinking now that how much can I get from this house when I rent it out? Don't sell it. When I rent it out. I don't know if you're hearing me. Amen. You are a child of God. You are bound to be blessed. I said this year you will be blessed. I said this year you will be blessed. Shake somebody say I feel blessed. I'm feeling blessings I'm feeling blessings around me. Did you read Deuteronomy 28? Eh? Mm. It says that if you obey the Lord, uh, the, the right word was if you diligently or carefully obey God, what, what is going to do? He will set you above, above nations. In other words, Nations must know you. Can you just ask, do the people of village remember you? Do they remember you? Others are thinking you are dead. Others are just thinking it's over. It's not true. Do you know how much you are blessed? 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 Do you know if you read this verse, it's challenged me a lot. I gave a line challenge a good. He says, Ere. Deuteronomy 28 says what? Deuteronomy 28. Just read verse 1. Arevaling Mola verse 1. Versing Yamatom. 
Only verse one. This verse one will destroy your mind. When ye tata ishu manale manano ere now. It shall come to pass if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandments which I command you today that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations okay, stop of the there, earth. Okay, stop there, stop there. This is the verse, that's the only one verse that verse has really you fell. troubled me. The Lord your God will you see the Bible say, you say will. In other Ota. words, right now you are not. But you will be. Can, can we just believe scriptures when they say you will be? That to say why I'm not. Because most of the time you have got questions of why I'm not blessed. Why? Here the Bible says, okay, read that verse again. Mo Bible here now it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God. In other words. The prophecy of this scripture will be fulfilled. Just carry on obeying. Carry on obeying. Okay, carry on, Mama Ready. To what? observe carefully all to his commandments. Carefully, okay, carry on. Which I command you today uh -huh. that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth. You know, when I read this, I said, uh, Where are you staying? Because if now you read this verse, and where you are, you are surrounded by people of different nations. Do you believe this scripture that we God want to fulfill it? So if you know that God wants to fulfill this scripture, okay, look at this verse 2. It says, it says what? All this what? All these blessings and all these blessings will come upon you and overtake you. Do feet at laying if you pay attention to the voice of the Lord. Here God is speaking that you see what? You know what I want to do. Yeah, this scripture is saying. All these blessings, in other words, can you see there? Here yeah, God is showing you that I know my people, they know what I'm saying. God doesn't want to bless you by what you don't know. He said, All these blessings, can you see all these blessings? Will come to you, they will even overtake you. This blessing that the you think they will never che, come. Che they will come to you. Listen, our problem is we don't know but what we are expecting. That's why when we pray for a job, we say, eh, job mo 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 That's why when we pray for a job, we say, job any, any job, job, any job, 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 any 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 job, the Bible says all this blessing is like God to took you to a place where you can see and show you can you see all this. They will come to you to extend that when people search for you, they will not find you. They will find your blessing. People, they try to who, who, where is this person? But they will not find you. They will find your car passing. When, when you say, I, I admire that car, they say, no, this is for the person you are searching. All this blessing must you come to you and overtake you. How can you be? I mean, since you are driving your parking, and this parking now is giving you problems Understand that you don't need to worry about Bish, that bike. Just say it's a time of famine. I will fulfill what God said. And the blessing of the Lord will come. Listen, the problem is when you are challenged. You complain. 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 How can you pray for something that God has given you? You are blessed. So you don't need to complain by <inaudible> this baki. When you are with this baki, you say, yes, I can see. It's <inaudible> just a <inaudible> and this is going. 
Because all these blessings are coming to me. I see a blessing coming to you. Look at this verse. We carry on verse 4. He says you will be blessed where? Not in the village. There's no blessing in the village. You'll be blessing in the city. And you'll be blessed in the field. Is there any blessing in the village? The scripture says in the city. There's no blessing in the village. <laughs> The Bible didn't say you'll be blessed in the village. People of the village, very close to you, there is a city. Don't die in the village. Tell you, but don't die in the village. Mm. Do you know the reason why the Bible is in the city? It means you must move. Mm -hmm. Move. There's a suburb very close to you. Don't die in the village. So when I, I preach this message, I could see that some of you won't understand me. Because this is the scripture we are reading. There's no village here. There's no Madombija. Madombija. Tell someone say, hey, I want to move. I want to move. Want to move. You know, I'm expecting that this year, you people, God must give you lands. I was with someone that I won't mention his name yesterday. When God was speaking with this message, this man called me. He said to me, I want to build houses, but these houses, if you want, must be houses of Charis people. Charis people must come and stay in this uh, suburb. Charis suburb. Charis suburb. I was... I just say this man is talking what God is telling him. I was with him yesterday. I showed him a I said, this man is a developer. And he said, he want to see me. He told me this thing. He said, what I wanted is only the land. Once I get the land, I will build houses. And these houses, you won't sell it to anyone, only to the people of Charis. And I said, this is what, uh, you know, I've been praying for. Because at the end of the day, your neighbor Maki doesn't worship God. Arabele. And in the night, Bushu is throwing some things. Maki will tell a deal. And you people, you, you people, when you are blessed, you relax. Yeah, you are staying with a neighbor who wants to remove you to buy your house. But he you wants his family to come and buy you. And you are relaxing, thinking you are right. With three bedrooms here. And your neighbor is close to you. And you are Okay. Hey. And in the night here, you and start to see you. things coming. You begin to hear, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and now you can pray. <laughs> God wants to put you a place where. You know, you know what is suburb? It's a place where you don't even know your neighbor. I don't know if you are hearing me. If you still know your neighbor, I don't know if you are hearing me. You, you will ask for a salt. <laughs> it is not the purpose of God for you to ask the salt for the neighbor. I speak prosperity in your life. Come out from poverty. Say I'm coming out from poverty. 
I will tell you this, many prayers we are praying. It's not because we are Christians. It's because of poverty. Many things, that's why you find we are doing fasting prayer. That's why we are doing fasting prayer. Because there's no food. If there's no food, it's easy to do fasting prayer. The, listen. The right fasting prayer is when the fridge is full. When God blesses you, you still do fasting prayer. You are Christian. When God blesses you, you still do fasting prayer. You are Christian. I see God blessing someone today. I see God blessing someone. I see God raising you. 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 Not long I found that in our country, people are losing jobs. Others are blaming the tax. Tax man. Tax man is really killing us. They said we need the meek people. Others are blaming now foreigners. Because when when you are poor, you become lazy. A, a, a poor person is a man who doesn't have a vision. You, are, you, you wait for other people to do a shopping there. And do a shop. Do a shop. You shop. think you shop to the shop. When you start to sell now, you can You are just passing here. Eh? Yeah. Yes. 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 Now when the hunger has entered, you group together. You group together. Group together. Foreigners must go. Foreigners must go. Now, when you say foreigners must go, now, you, you rush to the spaza. Already you are seeing that fish there. Your, your goal is the fish. Because you can't think. You, you, you wait when now hunger is entered. When, when now hunger is entered, you, start, you look at the fish and the saliva is going down here. You become angry and say, now you come in a group and enter. You went to the fish and you are not only one person who wants to take that fish. You are 20 now. You want to take the fish. You want to take the fish. You want to take the fish. You get injured. Many of you are injured because you don't think poverty is killing you. A man of fishing won't see anyone. Won't see who's there or not. He will concentrate. His eyes will be unto God. And say it's only God who can bless me. I will carry on. It's only God who will raise me. He will carry on doing what God wants him to do. No one can distract him. No one can stop him. No one can block him. I don't know if you are hearing me. If you believe, shout hallelujah. As somebody says, do you have a vision? Because vision makes you to tolerate. Vision makes you to see there. You can't react. Poverty has entered people, they react to someone. So look at this verse that says, you have to be blessed in the city. Not fighting for food in the city. Not fighting others in the city. Blessed in the city. Let's read the last scripture, maybe we close. Are you blessed? Look at this Genesis 35. I want to show you something in Genesis 35 from verse 1. Genesis 35 verse 1. I want to show you this famine. Challenges that happens. Can I read for you from verse 32? It says, then God says to Jacob. Now this one now. Jacob now is a son of who? 
Jacob a king one among. Huh? My son. Can you see now? It's generation. Kiluko. This is a generation now. This one is Jacob now. Ki Jacob or Janong. He says, Go up to Bethel. Remel la ye Bethel. Can you hear that? This is a direction. Mm. Go up to Bethel. Remel la ye Bethel. And live there. Uyo do la ona. And make an altar there to God. Udire alatar yaka na mo. Who appear to you? Here you can see God is addressing himself as a third person. He came and said, I'm God. Jacob. Jacob. Go there to Bethel and make an altar for God there. He didn't say for me. He said for God. But it's God speaking. Okay, look at this verse. Who appeared to you when you fled years ago from Esau, your brother? Then Jacob said to his household, and all to who were with him, get rid of the idols and the images of foreign gods that are among you and ceremonially purify yourself and change into fresh clothes. Then let us go get up and go up to Bethel. And I will make an altar there to God. Who answer me in the day of my distress that has been with me wherever I have gone. Verse 4 says, So they gave Jacob all the idols and images of the foreign gods. In other words, God here spoke with Jacob, Leave these people and bless you. Remember Genesis 12. Same applies to Abraham. Kindred, this family. And I will bless you. This is the same thing. This is the direction that this man goes. But look what happened after God has spoken. So verse 4, it says, okay, no, no, 5, let's go to 5. It says, as they journeyed, there was a great supernatural terror said, on the cities around them. People were afraid of God. But These are the people of God. Okay, look this. Verse 6. Verse 6. So Jacob came to Luz. Jacob Afita Luz. Which is the land. Of he and all the people were with him. There he built an altar. And called the place El Bethel. El Bethel. God of the house of, of God. Look at verse 8. After he built an altar. It says, now Deborah. Who, was, was, who, was, who once was Rebecca's nurse. Died. After he built an altar. When he finished, he said, thank you God. Now the nurse of Rebecca. Rebecca means Rebecca, she's in trouble now. Died. Died. Here you can see that the Bible says died. It means this person was not sick. Rebecca's nurse died. Maybe she was asleep, she could not wake up. That was the first question, why God? And was buried below Bethel under the oak. Verse 9. Nine. Then in a visible manifestation, ah, so, appeared... God appear. And he declare uh, Jacob and say, you are blessed. <laughs> Again, he said to him, your name is Jacob. You shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. Jacob shall be Israel. So he was called Israel. You can see that. And then look at this verse now. Verse 13. Then God ascended from Jacob in the place where he, he had spoken with him. Jacob set up a pillar 
in the place where he had talked with God. You can see. Verse 16. Verse 16. Then they journeyed from Bethel, and when there was still some distance to go to Ephrata, Bethlehem, Rachel began to give birth. And had difficulty and suffered severely. And Rachel at home, And she, when she was in hard labor, the midwife said to her, "Do not be afraid. You now have another son." And her soul was departing. And she died. Yeah, the first thing was after the, when they reached Bethel. Abafita Bethel. The Bible says he set up a pillar. Abe a pillar. Altar. Altar. After that, Amrawamo. The nurse died. Mutokomedi atokofala. After he died, God came and said, "Let me bless you." Kamrawa utokofala mudi marawa ukufufat. Libitoni ya change cha jano. Your name is is no longer Jacob. It's Sally Jacoboni. And the Bible says there was a great manifestation. The anointing was visible there. And God was appearing there. But after that, when they were journeying to Ephrata, the wife had a difficulty in giving birth. Died. The question is, where is that manifestation? This is the famine that Jacob went through. Everybody have got a famine. This man, though he was told, you are blessed. Second, I'm changing your name. Now you are alone. I fought for you. Don't you know for me. me. Leave these people. Come here. This is the house of God. This. But later, people began to die. But to die. When sometimes, when things happen to us, ask God, you said you are blessing us. There have to be a time like this. The blessing of the Lord. After God came and said, oh, you are blessed. You are Israel, I've changed and your name. The Lord said, God went up. God never said, God went up. You know, don't worry. After I change your name, there will be no funeral. Here. After the name was changed, this man was supposed to be saying, Why well, to me? God never revealed that to me. And the Bible said the next day, the wife who was beautiful died. But the blessing was still there. I don't know if you're hearing me. Listen, whatever happens to you will never change the mind of God. What God has promised, it shall come to pass in your life. I don't know if you're hearing me. There might be sickness in your body, there might be losing things in your life. Losing family. Don't forget what God has promised. You are blessed. And what he said. It shall come to pass. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Let me stop there.